card is randomly selected from a deck of playing cards. Let A be the event that this card is an ace. And let B be the event that this card is a spade. So if the card is a spade, then B is true. And if the card is an ace, then A is true. So both are true when if it is the ace of spades. I don't know if you are familiar with the nomenclature of cards. So spade is this particular symbol which looks something like this filled with black. So the ace of spades would be both A and B being true. Any other card of spade B would be true but A would not be true. And any other suit an ace a would be true but not b now state whether a and b are independent if the deck is a standard deck of 52 cards now if the condition for independence is that the probability of one event shouldn't change whether or not the other event has taken place which means p of a given that b happened should be the same thing as p of a and likewise p of b given that a happened should be the same thing as p of b now our events are such that a is an ace the card being an ace whereas b is the card being a spade so this would give us this is the condition for independence This would indicate that P of A, that is the number of the probability of the card being an ace, would be 4 by 52 in a standard deck. There are 52 cards in a standard deck, and of them, 4 are aces. So that is 1 by 13. And P of B is 13 by 52. There are 13 spades out of 52 cards. So you have 1 by 4 as a probability for a spade coming up. Now what is P of A given B? So in this case there is the, the, uh, we know that the card is already a spade. So there are 13 spades. So your denominator is 13. And how many aces are there among these spades? There is only 1. This is 1 by 13 which is equal to P of A. Likewise, if you did P of B given A, if you know your card is already an ace, there are four aces, how many spades would be there among these aces? Only one. And that is equal to P of B. So that condition for independence is satisfied. We can further simplify this by saying that since P of A is equal to P of A given B, which is incidentally equal to P of A intersection B divided by P of B. This condition can be simply written as P of A intersection B of both of them happening together is simply the product of these two probabilities. So if this condition is satisfied, we can say that the events are independent. And what is the condition here? What is to be satisfied p of a give a intersection b is both of them happening together there is only one ace of spades overall so that will give you 1 by 52 and p of a is 1 by 13 p of b is 1 by 4 so their product is 1 by 52 so therefore independence is satisfied so in a standard deck when this happens the two events are independent now we look at a standard deck with all the 13 hearts removed with all the 13 hearts removed we will have to modify these let's see if the conditions are still satisfied All the hearts are removed, which means probability of an ace coming up will be 3. But there are only 39 cards left. So this is equal to 1 by 13 again. And uh, 
what is the probability of spades there are now 13 spades out of 39 so that will give us 1 by 3 is p of b then p of a given b is basically given that it's a spade how many aces so that would again be 1 by 13 which is equal to p of a and what is p of b given a this would be there are only three aces now and how many of them would be spared only one so this is equal to p of b and again our condition is satisfied except in this case p of a intersection b is going to be 1 by 39 there is one ace of spades in the 39 cards and p of a is 1 by 13 and p of b is 1 by 3 and again 1 by 13 into 1 by 3 is 1 by 39 so the condition is satisfied so we can again claim that the second case also these two events will be independent now let's look at the third case a standard deck with hearts from 2 through 9 removed that is heart 2 heart 3 heart 4 heart 5 heart 6 heart 7 heart 8 and heart 9 are removed which means eight cards are removed now let's see what happens to these probabilities eight cards are removed which means there are now 44 cards in the deck and among them how many aces are there there are four aces because the ace of hearts is not removed so you will get 1 by 11 is p of a now what is p of b of these 44 cards how many spades are there 13 so 13 by 44 is p of b now let's see what happens with p of a given b so given that the card is a spade how many of them is an ace so you have 1 by 13 here directly but 1 by 13 is not equal to p of a likewise p of b given a so if it is an ace what is the possibility probability that it is a spade that is again 1 by 4 because there are 4 aces and only 1 spade among them and this is again not equal to p of b if we check for this condition now p of a intersection b is basically one card out of that is aces ace of spades is one card out of your 44 whereas p of a is basically 1 by 11 and p of b is 13 by 44 and this product is not equal to 1 by 44 therefore in this case the two events are not independent